Hello everyone, I'm starting this month by reviewing some of our 2020 summer camp footage. These are two of our main weapon disciplines and we're doing mixed weapon sparrings from time to time. Let's see how it goes. In this video I am with Longsword and Borislav is with Sword and Buckler. In the first exchange he makes provocation from the left, then feints to the right and comes again from the left, which gives him enough time to close the distance for a safe head attack. In this next exchange he again provokes from the left, but this time attacks to the right, which gives me time for a shaitelha to the head. Bogislav's main tactic in this matchup is to make a provocation so I can move offline, then do a series of cuts and some feints so he can close in the distance. If you're wondering about the swords that we're using, I am with the Albion Lichtenauer and Borislav is with their I-33 from the Maestro line. My sword is around 24cm longer, 13 of which are in the blade, and I have around 400g more mass. As you can see though, I can still freely use it with one hand. Here I go for a one-handed cut, then for a one-handed thrust. He displaces both of them, then we get into close distance. As our swords are tangled up in our bodies, we can't really move any further, but it's an interesting situation. He ends the exchange with a couple of hits with his hand to my head, but we decided that it's generally a messed up situation. As this is a friendly sparring at the end of our camp, we are playing at neither full speed nor force. Here I'm playing around with high foam tack. He defends the cut with his buckler and trusts to my hand. You may have noticed that I'm playing with red dragon gloves, but I would highly advise you to do it only with someone that you know and trust. Borislav on the other hand is with sparring glove mittens, as even a controlled hit with the Albion Lichtenauer can be quite strong. The hit here is nothing fancy, just going from top right to the left then going back and hitting to the buckler at his forearm. My main tactical goal in this sparring is to use my longer reach and to hit us his arms. Bogisarov now attempts a leg cut and narrowly misses. He remains at the same position and when tries to do a provocation up top, gives me the opportunity to go down. And don't worry, we have all the necessary protection here. Here Borislav moves his sword arm back and attempts a thrust to my face. He defends with the buckler but I go under it. He barely missed though. In this complex exchange Borislav rushes in and makes several cuts at both sides. I do defend all of them but don't really make any offensive action. At the end, when we disengage, he manages to hit me on my body. My hit afterwards barely hits his blade and I don't have the energy to continue. There is a slight hit here with the tip of my sword at large distance. As you notice, we don't really count it and carry on. We have the same situation here as a minute ago. This time though his thrust is even shallower and my cut is more of a slice at his arm. I guess we might have gotten tired here because we're just standing in position for some time. I now perform a one-handed thrust with my left arm. 
He blocks it with his book though, displaces it with his sword and charges in. I grab my sword with both hands but don't really do anything more than some slices. I remove the first thrust to my body but then he goes in for the head. In our final exchange I transition from top right to bottom left and go for a Shaitel Hao but his arm is on the way. We then decided to change weapons but we will look at this some other time. I hope you liked this video. If you did, do let me know down in the comments. I will be posting more of those in the future so you can subscribe if you would like to see them as well.